Yo, it's Shaking Bacon, and welcome to your eighth AngularJS tutorial. And in this video, we're going to take a look at modules. <laughs> okay, then, gang, so right now we're just using Angular only in this HTML file. But as we build bigger applications, we're going to have to start adding different JavaScript files uh, into our project to control different things within our content. And because it's always nice to keep things within some kind of logical structure in an application, we're going to use Angular modules and controllers to divide our code into manageable chunks. Now, an application could have one module or it could have many. That depends on the size of your app and how you as a developer like to organize your code. So right now, we're just going to define one module and that one module is going to contain all of our application's code, right? So what we're going to do is come over to this app folder, right click and add a new file. This file is going to be called app.js and within this app.js file is where we're going to define our module. So let's store it in a variable. I'm going to call it my ninja app like that and I'm going to set this equal to a module and to do that I'll say angular.module and then within these brackets, we're going to give this module a name. Now I'm going to call it again, my ninja app. And this doesn't have to be the same as this variable right here. This variable is just holding the module. It's a reference to it. And this is the name of the module. I like to do them the same just to keep things simple. Okay. So once we've given our module a name, then we need to pass in the dependencies in an array. Now, right now there's no dependencies, but later on, if we uh, need to inject some kind of dependencies into this module, we want to use additional features, then we would pass them through here. And I'll show you that later on as we use some dependencies. So that's it. That is our module created. And by storing it in this variable, what we're doing is essentially namespacing the application so that other scripts and variables outside of Angular don't interfere with our application code because all of our application code now is going to reside within this module. OK, so now that we've created our module, we need a way for Angular to know that this module is what will be controlling our application. And we do that by going through to the index and coming up here to the ng app directive. Now, we set that equal to the module that we want to control this app. So I'm going to set it equal now to my ninja app. And this right here has to be the name of the module, this one right here. Not this, even though they're the same. If this was different, it would have to equal this, not this. OK, so now that we've linked that up, this HTML, this application is now going to be controlled by this module and all of our application code, uh, code is going to reside in this module. OK, so now um, we can add other components to the module. So you can think of a module as a container for all these other components uh, like controllers. So all of our controllers are going to reside in this module. Likewise, our config and run methods are going to reside in this controller uh, in this uh, module. OK, so the way we do this is by saying my ninja app. All right. And then we'd say dot uh, config. All right. And then we could pass a function through to this config. And the config method is just a function that will fire before your application runs. So any kind of preparation that you need to do would go in here. All the code would run just before your application runs. OK, so things like uh, routing. And we'll get into config later on. Uh, we could also do my ninja app dot run and then pass through a function here and this function would fire when your application runs okay so this config is before your application runs and this run one is as your application runs all right uh, we could also declare controllers by saying my ninja app dot controller and we're going to learn about controllers a little bit later on but essentially the point i'm trying to make here guys is that everything we're doing is within this module okay all of our controllers, the run, the config, uh, factories, services, they're all going to reside within this module. And it's going to provide us with a way to kind of structure our code into logical chunks. All right. So that is what a module is all about. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next tutorial where we're going to take a look at controllers. I'll see you guys then.